If you've ever been frustrated by a beam that is not square, as I have been, you might want to check today's episode. I'm going to create a beam out of a southern yellow pine log and show you what I discovered about how I have created beams that are not square and then how I corrected that. So if that's something that's of interest to you, stick with us. I think you'll get something out of it. So the first step in ensuring that you have a perfectly square cant is to make sure that your tracks are flat and level. There's plenty of YouTube videos that show that. We may go into that in another video, but if you don't start there, you're not going to have a square cant in the end. Secondly, when you flip your log 90 degrees, you've got to make sure the cut surface is perfectly flush against your log stops.
Again, the purpose of this video is to show you the mistakes that I made when milling a log into a beam. Sometimes the beam would come out perfectly square and sometimes it wouldn't. I was confused by that and it took me quite a while to figure it out. Part of the problem stems from the fact that these log stops are low, positioned low in relation to the height of the beam or the cant in this case. So this is part of it. I'll show you on the other side what I found out. Part of my process for securing the cant to the mill is to take the tough guy approach and take the log dog and slam it in as hard and sometimes as high as I can and make sure that that thing is really secure. But there's a problem with slamming that log dog into the wood and walking away and assuming everything is okay. Watch what happens when I tighten the log dog down against the beam, particularly when the log dog is positioned higher up on the beam itself or the cant. If you could see that right there, it's lifting off of the bed. By doing that, that's going to create a cant or beam that is out of square. There's no way I'm going to get a square cant when I've got that going on. So there's three things that I do to help prevent this problem going forward. First, I set the log stops to a height appropriate for the material that's on the, on the bed. If the beam is very tall, I'll just raise those log stops up a little bit more. Second, I don't slam the log dogs into the work and just walk away from it. I will check and see if there's a gap there. If there's a gap, then I'm gonna make adjustments. And then obviously, Third, I'm not going to put that log dog that high into the work. There's no need to do that. So um, those three things, if I do that consistently, I have a much better chance of creating a cant or a beam that is square. And that's what we all want. Well, thanks for watching today's video. Certainly hope you got something out of it. Until next time, stay safe and God bless.